Hilchis Kalim Perik Shvi. Clay Eir Me'e Masai Mekabim Tumah. So we learned before when Negea Kliyates that Gil Mekliyates are Mekabal Tumah. You know, even though it's not really finished, but as long as the clay kibble of the eights is already, you have a piece of wood and you dug it out in order for it to be a cup. So even though you're going to do more things to this cup other than just dig it out, in other words, you're going to finish off the top to make it straight, you're going to maybe make a certain design, but nevertheless, at this point in time, since it's already a clay kibble, so gold me cleates a makabum tumma. By cleate is different. By cleate, now there is a, a climatis, we'll learn by Hamshech and Pedichas, that over there it has to be that it's actually fin- a finished product. Is clay air me'emasai makabum tumma, ha kurmol, a turmol kiatsve, turmol is a shepherd's what he uses in order to hold things in a shepherd's satchel. Mishayach sim sif So in other that he closes up the top of it. And normally he would like turn over the top of it, it would be like a hem to the top of it, and sew it down, so Mimele, the top of it would be firm. And also, the v'yichrois ha'koypen ha'ktam ma'yetz al gabi er, knows when, the, when you finish off a leather, so there's like little pieces sticking out of the leather, in order to make it smooth, so you have to cut off those koypen ha'ktam, those little small pieces of leather, which sticks out from the air. And also, v'yase kichoysov, and you also make the straps. This satchel normally goes with a, a strap, so there's like three nekudas over here. It has to be yachsim sefseisov, to close the top of it, and v'yichis akupim, to cut off the edges, which come out on the air, and also v'yasek kichesov, and also to make the straps that you close the satchel with. Skurtio, a skurtio, which is a something you use as a mat, you use as a mat, which normally... You have to finish off the edges around, in other words, to make it nice, to make it straight. And also, there would normally be a design in the middle of the mat, it would be like a design. It wouldn't be just like a plain piece of leather. It would be a certain design that you that you put a patch like in the middle of the leather, and that's called tzitziso. So skurtia, so skurtia is a leather mat. Mishiyachsem, again, you have to be yachsem, which means close off the edges around. And the yichres, and, and you cut off again, like he said before, the koifun aktanim. And also over here is v'yasu tzitzisa. Over here you make that design in the middle of the of the leather mat. Uh, the leather you're using it as a little mat in order to eat on. Now katbulio, katbulio is something you use as a sheet. Is mishiach same v'yichres over there? You only have to make sure to cut off the edges around again. You don't leave rough edges. You you make the edges around, maybe you also make a certain border around. And the yichres, and you cut off all those pieces which are sticking out of the leather. Hakar v'akeset shaler, which is a pillow or a blanket of air. Mishiyachsim sifsiseim. And again, the yichres ha'koifun ha'yetzim. V'chein kol ki'yetzim. So the mekudas advarim is that if you have a piece of leather, you're making a keli out of a piece of leather, so you have to have that the piece of leather not only should be functional, but it should actually be fin- a finished product. So in other words, you already you know if we're dealing with something which needs which needs straps, you have to have the straps already. If we're dealing with something which doesn't need straps, but at least you should finish off the edges and you should also finish off cutting off the pieces, which is as opposed to, to wood, which we learned before, that even though it's not a finished product and you didn't yet rub off and you didn't straighten things out, but nevertheless it was already makabal tuma. Hatfilin, tfilin is made out of air. So Mishigmer Haktsitsa, when you finish the ktsitsa is the bias. When you finish the ktsitsis, you have a full bias, and also the bias is already closed from the bottom, and you have the the, the bottom inside the bias. That's Tai Chi Yigmar Haktsitsa. Is Avil Bisho Asid losses by Ritsu, even though he didn't put yet the Ritsu of the Tvilnin, but he already has a full bias with the parshis in the bias. That's when it's Makabal Tuma, Makabel is Tuma. Oirho Arisa, the leather of an Arisa, Arisa is a crib, Shu Asid Lassisli Tibur. Now the word tibur sometimes means that like a certain pocket in this in this le- piece of leather which is going to be used on the bottom of the crib in order to put in stuff to make it softer to put in like uh, things to make it softer that would be a tibur so tibur would be like a pocket others touch tibur like snaps which connected to the cradle al kol something you still have to do to it is actually until you do it and knows the fact that it's usable is not enough since you're intending of adding also this tibur is therefore it's not considered makabal tumah and has sandal a sandal misheyakmiya shakmiya means that you put in the straps you know you put in the straps to the sandal and hamino which is a shoe misheyigav aloimum 
when it becomes dry on the form which it's drying on, the form, you know, you, you make the shoe and you f- dry it on the imum. So mishayigvalimum, once it becomes dry, dim osid l'charkim ulesartiv, it's actually a charkim v'yesartiv. A charkim is to make like grooves around, around and around, to make certain decorations. Now that is that, to make lines. So whatever, what it knows, if you, it's not a finished product yet, even though bepeil it's a functional shoe, but lepeil you still have an intention of l'charkim ulesartiv, so then this clear air is not yet makabal tumah. So the kudas advarm is a clear air to be makabal tumah. It has to be already a gemar, a gemar of the keli. And the Ram says different cases where it's considered a gemar of the keli. Now air she'enol of tzuras keli, an air which has no tzuras keli, you know, you take a look at the air, even though you know that there's a certain function to the air, but, and, and, and this is exactly what you want. You don't want to do any more to it. But nevertheless, since it doesn't have a tzuras keli, so therefore ene makabal tumah, lefichoch, Kaf shaleir, shaleir shakeshrim leik de koitzim al kapiseim. So you have like a, a piece of leather which you put on the palm of your hand and you tie it to the palm of your hand. So it's not a glove, mamish. It's something like one side of the glove and you tie it to your to your to your palm. And the purpose of it is that when you're going to pick up, you know, when you're going to do something, it shouldn't you shouldn't be hit with a thorn. It should protect your hand. Kedei shaleyakim koitz. So, so since it's not really a piece, it's only a piece of leather, it doesn't seem like a keli, it doesn't have a tzuras keli to it. So therefore, ain't him a kabbal tumah, air poshit, because it's a simple piece of leather. And the ain't all of tzuras keli. So basically we're saying if you have a simple piece of, ke- of leather, even though for you that leather is functional, but lapel, since it has no tzuras keli, so therefore it's not considered a keli. V'chein, ha'oyr shemalaktim be'i ha'bokar, did you pick up the waist of a bokar or ve'er shechesim bey pia behema? You use it to close up the mouth of a behema or ve'er shemishivim bey adveri b'shosh shalekim advash. Did you blow away the bees when you're taking the honey or ve'er sheminifim bey zeruach? Use it to make some air on you. In other words, because of the heat, so you want a little air to go on you. Mepnei achem. All of these are teherim bey makabim tumah. The mekudas advarim is because we're dealing with a plain piece of air which you have a function for it and el pale it serves a function. And you have no intention of doing anything more to it, but since it doesn't have a tzuras hakeli, it's not makabel tum. Halacha gimel kol beisu etzboi shol er tehiris. Beis etzboi is is like a mitten. It's like a small mitten. Normally, with a mitten by us would cover till the wrist. This mitten would only cover like till the, the fingers. So they're tehiris, and the reason is again because it doesn't have a tzuras hakeli. And vice versa, from this round we see that if it's something which is an er which is makabel, it actually it holds something. So it's not a get that should have a tzuras hakeli. Lepel, since it's a mekabel, so therefore it becomes tummy. Masha'enken, if something is not a mekabel, you want to have it a din keli, a din alavush. So kedeh should have a din of a keli, a lavush, that has to be dafke if it has a tzuras hakeli. So therefore it's a kol beiso et zboi shal eir teheris. Because it doesn't have a tzuras hakeli, even though it's like a vaistus, it is, a, it, it covers the, the fingers, but vaistus, it doesn't have a tzuras hakeli. Chutz mishal kaitzen, those base heads boys which are used by those people that dry the fruit in the summer. Now, oig is a type of berry that vices they would put into this mitten when they would be collecting the berries, they would put it into the mitten. So, Mimela, this, 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 this base heads boys shall air becomes a clay kibble. Now, once it's a clay kibble, so the fact that it's not a sura sakeli is not a factor, vices. Tmeya. Now, Nikra, if it was torn, if this Basin's boy shaleir is torn. Is ainem mekabelus is reva eig tehera. If it cannot be mekabel, reva eig is tehera. But sure, reva eig means it sounds like the eig was like a big berry, and if it can't take the reva eig, it's tehera. I'm not sure the title of these words, but I'll call upon him. Vice to is the say there was that they would put the eig in the base of its voice. <coughs> so therefore, that would make that would make the base of its voice into a keli. And if it can't be mekabel the eig, so then it's not a keli. Belts which are made out of leather, or from Hakitan Al people that are missing their legs. So they, they they sew these leather pieces of uh, material on their stumps, on the stumps. Kiday she is Galgulakarka, they should be able to walk with it, they should roll with it on the karka, it shouldn't hurt their stumps. Is mekabeltum so side the avnit is mekabeltum and side the oiris which take from hakit malkav say mekabeltum why sharei tzuras keli alein because the pale it has a tzuras keli v'chein oiris so asuim keim taboi shemachnis neis no umdim zrei seim 
those eris which are made like 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 rings in other words, they their, their their sleeves are long and when apparently when their sleeves are long so it disturbs them when they're working so they make a ring and that ring they put their the ring on their arm and through that ring they pick up their sleeves that they put their arms into those rings it's not so clear the the zrayas of the umnum go into those rings to pick up their god which is the sleeves that's what the mafarshim is to teach is mistamen kishar kli erab shutim just like regular kli erab shutim which we learned before the ba'am is a kli er menatera is only mekabel tumma just like a kli eitz when it's when it's a when it's a kli kibul when it's poshut it's not really mekabel tumma but midrabanan a kli eitz is mekabel tumma even when it's poshut halacha hey oir shetei from menokisa liyad they 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 use that this air as a covering for the for the hand and for the arm of Lizreya. Shall Zeri Guinness. Now the Girsa is Zeri Guinness. Others have the Girsa Zeri Gronis. My says that's the Girsa Muduyakis. Zeire, now without an iron, Zeire Gronis. Which means that the ones that winnow in the Gairan, and as they're doing winnowing, they're doing the, the, the Malachas of Zaira. Vishal Hel Hidrachim or Vishal Esi Pishton. So Vices were talking about with like long, with long uh, gloves. And there's a glove that doesn't only cover the, 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 the palm of the hand, it also covers the arm. Is Mikabum Tumma. So these are Mikabum Tumma. These are Kalim, which are helping you being able to do the work you have to do. However, Mhoyushal Tsaboy, people that are doing dying, or Vishal Mapachim, smiths. Is any mekabel tumah? Zaklal kol osi lekabola kadesh liyakeu kates kadesh yaches yofi yof. A person is wearing a glove, and the purpose of doing it is in order so he shouldn't be hit by a thorn, or he should be able to hold something good. Is mekabel tumah because that's really serving the malacha. Abeva osi mipnei azayah. It's don faker shali posit that dover shemis asik be bezayis yada. He doesn't want that the sweat of his hand should ruin the thing. That he's doing the malacha with. So over here, it's really it's not a keli. It's it's like something which is like more of a protective, to protect the thing that he's doing the malacha with. But it's not something which is really being mishamish as adam. So then it's any makabel So in order for a beggar to be makabel tuma, it has to be something which is there to help the person function. Masha'inkein, if the beggar is here to help the the item which he's functioning with, that it shouldn't get ruined with his sweat. So that's not considered a beggar. How big does the hole have to be for a clear air to become tar? We learned before in the Gea Kliates that there was the share of a Kmetzi Rimein, there was the share of a Kmetzi Zayas. What's the share of a clear air? So Achemis, Achemis is like a pouch which holds food. When the hole is big enough that a ball of the warp thread, and those, there's the thread that goes in the vertical, that's called the shesi. And there's the, she, the thread that goes horizontally, which is called the Erev. And the Erev, as we'll see, is thicker than the Shesi. It's thicker than the Shesi. So when you have a ball of thread, which of Shesi, of, of this thread that would be used for the Shesi, for the vertical thread, and it's brought down that it's, that thread, we're talking about an amount of thread, that which, which is able to weave Gimel al Gimel at's voice. So when you have that ball of, of this warp, a thread of Shesi, and the, and the hole is big enough for such a ball of thread to fall through, that hole is big enough to make the keli uz keli. When there's a hole, when a shel shesi, when a ball of this shesi thread would fall through, then it's then it's then it's uz, it's uz keli. It's not makabel tum anymore. That's not so clear what's pshat over here in, the, in these words. The way that our oracle learns pshat, any yechel kabel shesh means it was originally there was a hole originally that a sheshesi thread would fall through. Is hail of mikabel shel erev as long as it's mikabel shel erev is mikabel is tuma achet inokiv ruba. It's not very clear this halacha. So it's not. In other words, we started off. We're saying that there's a hole that could make the the keli uis keli. So the first thing we say is if there's a moitzit koy shel shesi. Then he says, If it cannot be Mekabel Shel Shesi, as long as Mekabel Shel Erev is Mekabel Shel Tumah. So in other words, if it originally was made regular, so then, then, then the Shel Shesi hole would be big enough. Masha'inkin, if it was 
אין לי יכול לקבל שסי, אז היל מקבל של אלה וזה מקבל אסטומה, and then it's עד שתינוק אברובה. It's not, not so clear. I, I don't understand it all. הלוך הזין. הטורמל שנפחס הכיס שבתכי, וייסוס הטורמל is the pouch, that inside there was another inner, there was an inner, uh, like, uh, uh, pouch in the pouch. You know, there was like an inner compartment in the pouch. So if that inner compartment was torn up, עדיין הטורמל מקבל טומאט, that doesn't, notice the, the turmoil is still a turmoil, you have a, a, a bag, and in that bag there's another little bag, so that little bag doesn't in, 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 invalidate, cause that the whole bag is not a bag. אבבייני חיברלי, that part of the bag is not מחובר, so notice, let's say if טומאל would touch that inside piece, which is, let's say, let's say you have a pocket that's inside a pocket, so, so if it touches the outside pocket, so it's טומאי. Masha'inkin, if it touches the inside pocket, which is already detached from the outside pocket, you know, it's no longer a functioning pocket, so the male is considered a separate entity. So the same thing, this turmoil. This turmoil is a pouch, and in this pouch you have another piece of leather, which is like an inside pocket. So when that turmoil, that inside pocket is functioning together with the outside pocket, so it's considered one thing. Masha'inkin, when the inside pocket is like torn off, so the male, so it's no longer, it's, the outside pocket is still a, is still a, a piece of leather. But if, let's say, turmoil, would touch that piece of leather which is, was, was once part of the inside pocket and now it's no longer re- functioning as a pocket, it's just functioning as a piece of leather which is sticking out, so then it wouldn't be Makabal Tumba, that's L'Chur Elipshat. Hachemis, which is a pouch, a, a, a leather pouch, Shabetzim Shalo Mekabla Sima, so now they would take out the leather, they would make leather, so we, like we learned already in the past, that the, the ideal thing would be is to take out the whole behemoth and you'd have like this whole one piece of leather which was around the whole behemoth and that would be a pouch. You wouldn't have to connect it. It would be like a, a built-in pouch already, the, the, the pouch of the behemoth. Now if you take out the, 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 the entire behemoth, you also take out the beitzim that the behemoth had. So in the mele, the kiss of those beitzim become an extension of that leather pouch. You have that large leather pouch and then you have a, like a little, little pouches a little, a little extension, little pockets that are sticking out from this big pouch, which is the place where the beitzim were. And now v'nifchasu. So those hachemis shabeitzim shalom mekablasima. So, so this chemis originally, because it was taken all together off, so the entire thing was was being mekabel, including the place of the beitzim. And now v'nifchasu. And now they became opened up. The place of the beitzim became opened up. Is teheris she'ena mekablas kedarkan. Now it's not so clear over here. Also. Is the pshat is the whole chemis becomes Torah, or only the place of those beitzim become Torah? No, the place of those beitzim originally was part of the the chemis and the mele, so there was a kabbal tumah together with the rest of the chemis. Now that the place of the beitzim were nifchasu, so obviously you're going to have to close that place in order for the, the liquid not to drip out, unless you're not putting in liquid. If I suppose if you're not putting a li- liquid, so then so you could put so no, even though there's a hole over there, but those that hole is not big enough. To invalidate the entire chemis, so still, the entire chemis is still a keli. Mashenkin, those that 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 part which was the with the little kisim that were holding the beitzim, that is no longer considered part of the keli memela. That's not makabel tum. Halachatas, kli air shiyeshle lulois v'shanses. It's a kli air that has lulois is loops. And shanses are the uh, the straps. You have straps that go into the loops. Kin sandal imki or vikishal shanses. In other words, you have the type of sandal which were made with loops and straps, or a, a, or, or a, a bag which is made out of loops and straps. Is aval pishay mutarim ein alein tzuras keli. When you untie the loops from the straps, the straps from the loops rather, so you don't have a tzuras keli. It's all flat. Is nevertheless hail mekabel tumah k'shem mutarim. They're still mekabel tumah even though they're untied, because hail vahedit yochel b'mehera lahachnis hashanzes belulois v'yavzer klei kibluk shehoyes. So notice it's very simple. Notice you have the loops and you have the straps, and it's only a question of putting the loops into the straps. So that's going to happen. The straps into the loops rather. So that would happen very simply. The chenim nitmu if they became now here it says the chenim nitmu. But lepel it says ve'avol the girsi should be avolim nitmo if they became tummy and then ve'heiser hashansis man and now you remove those straps you remove the straps ve'nifter nifser atzurasa so in the case before we didn't remove the shanses the case before they were the shanses and they were the lulois and they were just untied so real in their present state you don't see any keli. 
but it's very simple. In two seconds, it's, they're back. You put the, the straps back into the loops, you have the keli. Masha'ikan over here, you, 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 you undid the straps. You took away the straps. Now, lapel, vice versa, you could, re, you could re-put it, you could reinsert the straps, and vice versa, it doesn't take that major effort to do that. But it certainly takes more effort to put the straps back in than to, to take the straps and put it into the loops. So the chenim nitmu, the avolim nitmu, and then the heiser ashantzis mem, and you took off the straps, the nifsa zerosim, and now you don't already have otsuras hakeli, is a rei enteirim, avopi she'ev she'lachziram she'lei bu'umon. But before he said, heil v'hedid yochel b'meheira l'hachnis ashantzis v'lulois. Over there, it wasn't only you were able to do it, it was you able to do it b'meheira, there was no big effort involved. And therefore, it never lost its shem keli. Masha'inkin over here, since lepeil, it, it, now it involves effort, so it's right because the, the 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 straps were completely detached from the keli or from the sandal. So even though you could reattach it, but the pale since they were detached, so therefore it's uh, it's not considered a keli. It would be like you know like our shoestrings, for example. You know, there imagine you could put it back in, but the pale it involves an effort to put it back in. So it's not like the same thing of having a string that you just have to put it into a loop. Halachayut. Kiss shall shansuns, shenitlu shnotsov. So, in other words, you have a kiss that has has straps, and you took away the straps. So, chatchila, we said when you're making a kiss, and that kiss is going to have shansun. So, the pale, it's not makabal tuma until you put the shansun because it wasn't nigmar. But over here, you already had a kiss shall shansun, and now those shansun were taken away. Harehu makabal tuma, adayinu makabal tuma, sharehu makabal, because it's still it's still a makabal. It's the pale, it could be makabal. No. Not as convenient because it doesn't have those straps, but nevertheless, it's still a makabel. Now, nifshat, if this whole kiss was spread out straight, the chazer air posh, now it became a straight piece of leather. It knows, you don't really see that it was already a kiss ever, is tor. Now, tola all of it's a matlis mulmata. If you put under it a matlis, a matlis is usually a, a patch. I'm not really sure what the tzir is. In other somehow or another, by putting the patch on the bottom, so it's obvious knows the, that, that it's just a question of reuniting the oil. knows you have a straight piece of oil, so it's not nicker at all that it was a keli. But over here, if you have already, like there's a bottom, and then there's an oil around that goes around this bottom. So even though you opened it up, but lapel, since there's a bottom to it, so memele, it has a din of a keli. So tolov is hamatis mumate, mekabel is toma afal bishu poshet, sharia shal of tzuras keli. No, it must be that there's like a bottom, there's a bottom to it, and, and the rest of the oil is like around this bottom. So even though the oil is spread out, but you could see that, that it's spread out around this bottom, which is a keli. And the mele, it still has a din of a tzuras keli. Halacha yudalv, er shekarev be'es ha You went ahead and you wrapped a kamea in an oil. Is makabal tumah, so the oil is makabal tumah. Poshte, if you spread it out, so then it's tor. Chazav ekarev be'es. They went ahead again, and you wrapped around the kameya. Is mekabel tumah mistami umistayir afilu eser parvim bayeh. That's the number one. Now the air she cost of all of us a kameya. An air before we talk about a kameya, but pastors could be a kameya of of, of matches. Now the air she cost of all of us a kameya. An air that you wrote a kameya on it is tor. Vim koras mimenu vaasa chul yalutachshet is mekabel tumah. You went ahead and cut off a piece of this kameya. And through this piece of the kameya, you're going to be able to like connect it, that it's going to become like an extension to a takshit. So it becomes like part of a takshit. And a takshit is makabal tumma. A takshit of a person is makabal tumma. And this is an extension of a takshit. So in a male, it's also makabal tumma. So the, as a kameya, a kameya is not makabal tumma. A kameya is not makabal tumma. However, if you cut off part of the kameya, and that's through that cutting off that part of the kameya, you make it into an extension of a takshit. So then it is makabal tum. Halacha yud beis. A tefil shel reish arba kelim. Tefil shel reish is four kelim. Tefil shel reish has four bottom. Each one is a separate kelim. And therefore, reish nitim is b'meisim. The tefil shel reish became tummy mess. Now, the hitter k'tzitzer rishene, you untie the first bias. The first bias became uis bias. And now, the tikna, and you, re, you redid it. So you have three bottom left of the original. And one bias which you which you undid and did back. So the din is harei avatomik shehoisa. So the whole thing is avatoma. Why? Because the first three that were left is the anavatoma. 
And the fourth, which joined these three, are also an avatuma. So again, there's two left there as an avatuma, and the two that joined is also became part of an avatuma. Now, vitikna. vitikna. So the Amas, there's nothing here left that was originally an avatuma. There's nothing here left that was originally avatuma. There was they're all new. So nasakula rishon letuma. Now they all have a din of a rishon letuma. Why? Shari hiter kolachas vaachas. Because since he was already matter all of them, and vechazer v'tiknam kulam. So therefore, they're no longer an avatuma. How are they a rishon atuma? Okeilu zut fil machrenes shenogav rishenes. Because lepel the, 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 these new batim, these new batim, but they touch the original batim. Because when the first, second, and third, the pastors, the first, second, and third. Were, were reattached to the others. So at that point in time, they had a din of an avatuma because they were connected to an avatuma. But even if, besides being connected to an avatuma, they have a, a, a rishon atuma because they're touching an avatuma. So now when that avatuma, which they were connected to, which made them into avatuma, is no longer here. Let's see, the fourth bias is no longer here because it, it was also went away. So now these first three, which originally had a din of an avatuma, because they were connected to that avatuma, but now that avatuma is no here, so we say, good, they're not longer an avatuma. But they were touching an avatuma, since they were touching an avatuma, so therefore they have a din of arishan latuma. That's the Pashtas. So now we have all of them are arishan latuma. Now, chazar vihitr sarishen apam shniya. Now, he went ahead, and again, now they're all arishan latuma. He went ahead and was matter the rishen apam shniya v'tikna is, again, is a rishan kshohoisa, because it became attached to the other three, which is arishan. And he was matter all of them. So then, so they're, they're all uh, they're all Now Chazar When when he went ahead and he was matter the Ravias, and Vitikna, and then he was masakin the Ravias. So now the Ravias, now there's no longer anything left of the original Rishon Lutuma. So now the question is, so let now let it become a shame. So we say no, because Hari Kulatayr. Now all of them are tor. Why? Knows, an avatuma can make a rishon, but a rishon can make a sheni. Beniget kelim and meila. Therefore, since the original rishons are all gone, since the original rishons are all gone, so now the second set is tar. tar. So again, so the first when, when you when you masakin the first four, so now they all become rishon. Masheinkin when you masakin the next set of four, so at that point in time. They, no, they're all tar when you massacre the second set of four. Now it comes out from here just a technical thing that Lepeil, after you were massacre the first three of the second set of the Rishains, so then it's still a Rishin. Why? Because it's Mechuber to a Rishin, which is the Rishin, the fourth. So if we'll make a Chesh, we'll make a Chesh like this. There was one, two, three, and four. So the one, two, and three, let's say the first time, they were all Avatomas. And now they became Uis Avatuma because really they're only, they're only an Avatuma because they're Mechuber to the fourth, which is an Avatuma. They're Mechuber to the fourth, which is an Avatuma. And now that this fourth is no longer there, the fourth is no longer there, so now the first two and three touched originally an Avatuma. Now, why is the fourth Arishan Latuma? Why is the fourth Arishan Latuma? The fourth is only a Rishon Latuma because it's connected to the first, second, and third, which was a Rishon Latuma. Again, the first, second, and third were an Avatuma because it was connected to the fourth, which was an Avatuma. But once the fourth is no longer there, so how has the fourth become a Rishon Latuma? The fourth can become a Rishon Latuma because he's touching the, the first, second, and third, which is a Rishon Latuma, because a Rishon can't make a Rishon. So Elamai becomes a Rishon because... He became attached to the first, second, and third. That's Lahura. So now we have, we had four which were all an avatoma. After we had the first, second, and third were, 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 were fixed. They were all an avatoma because they were connected to the fourth, which was an avatoma. Now that the fourth is no longer an avatoma, so now the first, second, and third is a Rishon Lutuma, and the fourth is a Rishon Lutuma only because it's connected to the first, second, and third. But now, when you're going to go ahead, now, now this same first, second, and third, are, are, are you going to undo and then do again? So, so the pale, the first and second, are a Rishon Latoma, and they're connected still to the third and fourth, which is a Rishon. 
So even though you're redoing it, but nevertheless, it's connected to the third and fourth. But once the first, second, and third were all undone, so what's going to make the first, second, and third into a Risha? L'chura, the fact that it's connected to the fourth. But the fourth was only a Risha because it was connected to the first, second, and third. So L'chura, once the first, second, and third were, were, were broken the second time, they should become Uy's tummy. So what does the Rambam say? That Chazer V'hitir Sarevi is V'tik Nari Kulotera. L'chura, the din is right away before Chazer V'hitir Sarevi is. Right away when it was the three, they should become Kulotera. And that's Bam is the sheet of the Bartanura. The Bartanura holds that in such a case, since Lapel the fourth is only Tommy because it's connected to the first, second, and third. So therefore, once the first, second, and third was 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 was, was undone, so then even before the fourth was undone, it's all Torah. But Lapel the Rabbim holds not like that. The Rabbim holds that vice is once the fourth has a din of original tumma because it's connected to the first, second, and third, it gets a real din of original tumma. And the Mela now, when the first, second, and third is connected to the fourth, that also can make them into original tumma. And only when the fourth is also hitter, only then does it become Torah. That's the Chorid Pshat. Then the Rams, this din is Menigiat Phil, Chen Sandal, Shutami Medes, and Venif Sukha Achas Miyoznav, one of the sides fell off, which Vaisus, it could be still used without it. And the Tikna and Yuwa Matami, it is still Tami Medes. The, the, the Sandal still has the din of Tumas Medes. Now, Nifsuka Shnia Vitikna, now the second one was also fixed. So now, Lechura, it's all new. It's not really the original sandal, which was Tommy Medus. So now, it's Ari Yutor Mina Medus. Shari Nasul, there's Naim Chadoshes. It's again, it's a Parim Chadoshes Bolakan. So therefore, it's no longer Tommy the Tumas Medus, which is an Avatuma. Avot Tommy Magus Medus. It's a touch the Medus. Memela, it became from a Medus. And since it became from a Medus, so therefore, as an innovation of the Tumas. Now the hispik the sacrament of Rishen at the nifsa kashnia, and those if before it became uiskeli, he 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 fixed the other one. So Mela comes out that it never became uiskeli. Just later, when he does the second one, it comes out that it's a parim chadoshes, and Mela it's a keli which touched another keli. Mashaink in, in a case where it was nifsa kashnia before he got a chance, you know, the, before he got a chance to fix anything. So then a shnifsa kakevi or the heel of the sandal fell off. And it will cut me the nose of it, which is makes it unusable. A nechel klishnaim, where it's completely cut into two parts, is Torah. So, notice, as long as it still was a keli, the question was like in the case by the film, there was still kalim there, and the mele, those kalim still maintained the din tumah. Masha'enkin over here, when there's no din keli anymore, so there's nothing to maintain a din tumah. No, so the mele is paka tumah. That's the din. So again, when when nifsika one saw one oizen, so it's still a din keli. And, it's, and now that you fix the oizen, so it's the keli, which was Tommy Tumas Magnus. Now, when it was Nifsika, the other oizen, and you fix that oizen as well, so now we say, well, we don't really have the original keli, which was, which was Tumas Magnus. It was a Panam Chadoshes. So therefore, we look at it that this keli touched that other keli. Because the whole time there was a keli. There was never a time that there was no keli. Masha'enkin, if both as nine were, were Nifsak, so in Melod, there's no longer a keli. There's no longer a keli, it becomes Tor. Halacha yud gibu minol shenifchas. If it's a shoe, so so then a shoe is like im eni mekabel reivar regel tor. In order for a shoe to have a din of a shoe, it has to be something that could still be mekabel hold reivar regel. Now tefilo shenitmas. When you have a pair of tefilin that was tummy, is meima saytarosi. When does it become tor? Is shaliyat a tefilin shaliyat which only has one bias? Is mishiyat or oisa mishol shuches? If you, 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 you have to untie the tfiris from all from three sides, from all three sides. From the three sides, you, you untie the tfiris, and that's when it becomes uiz din tfilm. Of a mishoresh, it's not enough to be matter from three sides. Also, mishayate mishol shruches, and also bing tzitzel lechavert. In other words, there's the chut of the tfira, that besides the chut of the tfira that goes into the tfiris on the titura around the, 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 the tfilm, there is also the chut that goes between the bottom. That's the chut atfira that goes between the bottom. So you have to not only untie, in order for it to be considered that it became uiskeli, not only to untie the shalash ruches, but also ben ktsitzel lechavert. Halacha tezvav. Hakadur v'ho'imum v'akomea v'atfilm shenikru acher shenitmu. You have a ball which has stuff in it. Re'imum is also something that you have, it's like a... a 
a something to put to, to make shoes on it but it's also it has stuffing in it the point over that these things all things have stuff and they have something around it and there's stuffing in it or vakameya means also you have a, a pouch and inside you have the kameya or vatfilm you have the film and inside the film you have the parshias shenikru acha shenitmu that they got torn after they became tummy and now you could actually touch the inside of this ball you know the stuffing which is in the kader or the imum or in the kameya or in the pouch of the kameya so the din is hanegebem tummy someone that touches the outside the kader the outside the, the, the outside keli which has the stuffing in it tummy even though it's torn if you stop let's say if you would be touching the parshis of the film someone would be able to touch the parshis of the film even though the film weren't completely uiskeli or you were able to st- the stuffing in the kadu. Now, ha'ikuf shenikra, if you have a saddle, which also has stuffing in it, but the stuffing of a saddle is tied to the outer outer the, the outer layer of the saddle. In other words, the out, there's an outer layer of the saddle which holds the stuffing, and that stuffing is apparently also sewed in with with the outer layer. So ha'ikuf shenikra is hanigev mashabatechi tomi. Why? Because the tfar, the, the sewing, the stitching, is mechaber, the inside of the ikuf, with the ikuf itself, and therefore, it becomes like one, one piece.